It's another beautiful morning in Ferdy's forest. All the animals are up and about, ready to begin another day full of fun and adventure. But wait, what's this I hear? It seems that everyone is still asleep at Ferdy's house. It's a shame to miss such a wonderful morning. <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> Building a stable for Ossie, they better get up soon. I think watching all those movies really addled his brain, not to mention that lump on his noggin. Wow! That is a nasty lump, but I'll fix you right away. Uh, it's nothing at all. Please don't bother. <laughs> now, now, Stallone wouldn't mind. See? You're all better. <laughs> this place is a mess. Is this a thanks I get for letting you stay here? All right, guys, fess up. Who did this? Aussie? He's guilty! Not only of house trashing, but of bulldozing us dozers! Well, Hey! Wait one minute! I won't take that accusation lying down! You're nothing but trouble! You would munch and story tell a no good house guest! No! You don't do anything but oh, sleep late! At least I'm a self-respecting dog doing dog things! Chasing my tail, digging up bones, not to mention uh, bothering bees! <laughs> I think maybe without a doubt that the mutt protests too much. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's my snip. Hey, you didn't mean to say those things about our friend Woody, now did ya? Oh, uh, what do you think this is anyway? The return of Lassie? That's a good one. You always side with him because he's cute. Beauty is more than skin deep, you know. Enough yapping, we better get cracking. We got a stable to build for Ossie. I'm awfully appreciative, boys, but it's like this. What I really want is a two-story townhouse with a polo pool, a spa, and bingo every other Monday night. How about wall-to-wall -wall carpeting and marble uh -oh. floors? Uh -oh. Hey, Bob, I live in a doghouse. What a concept. I'll start drawing the plans right up. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Impossible. This is getting ridiculous. Let's get some facts straight right now. I'm a dog. I live in a doghouse. Woody's a no-good freeloader. He'll live anywhere. And Ossie's a horse, so he'll live in a stable. You have. Huh? Hiya, Bubs. Archibald here, the best builder in the forest. What a fine stroke of luck. How you been, Arch? What do you mean, luck? I don't get it. How'd he know we were gonna build today? Huh? This is a job for huh? Super Sniff. 
Oh, oh me, oh my. <laughs> oh, my snip. Excuse my friends, they still don't know how good our forest grapevine is. No harm done, but it would be nice to have a powwow with the architect in charge. Oh, well, my friend, I was sort of hoping we could count on you for that. Maybe you should <laughs> let him draw up the plans. After all, you've never done it before. I don't think so. This plot to build is beginning to thicken, and I'm starting to smell a rat. Oh, that reminds me, Bertie. The rat family sends their regards. Oh. Time to change the subject. I am an expert on espionage, and I want to know who sent you and why you want to help build Ossie's stable. Uh. Don't worry, I saw Sean Connery do this in Dr. No. Sorry to disappoint you, pal, but I'm just what I appear to be. Number one builder in the forest. Oh, I'm so sorry. Must be a case of mistaken identity. Oh. Bertie, my friend, we might have to get uh, rough. Would you well, welcome, welcome aboard. Aboard. Well, now, that's settled. Let's look in on our ragtag construction crew. Good. Right on schedule. <laughs> a song and a smile, despite Woody's contribution as architect in charge. They'll <laughs> know it. of you, you altered my plans. This place could have been superior to a Frank Lloyd That's Wright. That's quite enough. Woo. Woody, you know that this was a group effort. Shame on you for trying to take all the credit. Okay, we all did a very good job, but now we have to find a way to keep the roof from leaking. So what do we do about the roof, Mr. Hotshot Architect? You know that I wanted my swimming pool outside. <gasps> hey, it's a stable, not a Sheraton. Uh, I guess that means no wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. Hey, I got a great idea, but we need leaves. Lots of leaves. Come on, gang, let's get going. Mm, oh. Why don't you get yourself going? I mean, someone's got to stay here and guard the new stables. We got to oh. roll back first for the tree. Oh. 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 Speed as the falling of autumn leaves. Oh. 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 Hi, Flora. Oh. I have a wonderful surprise for you. Oh. Beautiful as a movie star. Like Bridget Bardot, you bet. Laura, listen, I finally found you a horse, and he's wonderful. Well, it's about time, Bertie. Where is he? He's right over here. Why don't you let me introduce you? This is Aussie, the finest, fastest steed in the whole forest, who also happens to be an all-round nice guy. You're such a lovely shade of green. Well, it's nothing compared with the brilliant glimmer of your wing spots. Oh, yeah, oh, <laughs> oh my. my. Ooh, looks oh. like a mutual admiration society. Everybody loves my Laura. Laura, Laura, Laura. <laughs> I must give a call to Seymour. He's my agent. You know, you'd be an absolute smash hit in Hollywood. Cool. <laughs> Ooh, sweetheart, we definitely must do lunch. Oh, it'll be just like in a movie with Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. Oh, well, maybe I do resemble Lauren Bacall a little bit. Huh? Who? Listen to this, we've been working hard all day. We have our very own band. We have our very own barn. Hey, we can put on a really big show. Yeah, count this hooper in. Hey, now 
that's a horse of a different color. What do you think, Maestro? Now, wait one second, Woody. We're not exactly finished with the stable, you know. All right, all right. Now, don't go getting your antennae in an uproar. Hey, I'll change the plans. Instead of a show, we'll just have an old-fashioned roof-raising party. Well, maybe. But when we're done, we have to finish up the roof. So what do you know, Daddy-O? Kick it. <laughs> just a moment. Oh, Bertie, I just love this band. And the maestro's an absolute dreamboat. Uh, may I have this dance? <laughs> I promise I won't step on your toes. Oh, don't be silly, Bertie. You'll get to dance with me, but you'll just have to wait your turn like everybody else. Oh. See you on the dance floor. <laughs> It takes two to tango. Huh? And walls and box drives. Hands up, you guys. Enough of this goofing around. We still have a lot of work to do. Otzi, we need leaves. Laura, we need a cleanup crew. A clean forest is a happy forest. You'll help with the cleanup, won't you? Due to circumstances beyond my control, I must decline your plea and offer my sincere apology. What are you, one of the silliest people I ever met? I know what it is. <laughs> Gee whiz, I'm going to ruin my nails doing this. Woody, have huh? you really met Mel Gibson? Yeah, have you? You bet, mate. We even put a few shrimp on the barbie. Okay. Reminds me of my old days at the stage hand. One more batch on to do it. Uh -huh. Hey, watch this. What do you think this is? A union job? I'm not up here for my health, you know. That really isn't helping, but stick with me and I'll get you out of this. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Good thinking. <laughs> Good as new. In another moment, you won't even remember what the fuss was about. Uh oh, does anybody know what happened to Woody? Woody, where are you? This is not my idea of a good time. Yep, yeah. I feel great. I think we all did a terrific job, and that you is such something to be proud we of. We have a stable, we have a horse, now all we need is a carriage. Sniff to the oh, rescue. Why? I propose we can the carriage oh. concept and ride bareback. No. I'm a horse of fine breeding. No dog is going to ride me bareback. Uh-uh. This is just like in the Black Stallion. Except the horse is green, we don't have a cute kid, a scenic island, or a race. Other than that, just like it. Or maybe it's like my friend Flicker. Ah, you know what I mean. Well, what were we talking about anyway? I don't know, Woody. I'm totally lost. Listen, you guys, this is straight out of this horse's mouth. You get me a carriage or nobody rides. That is, unless you want to saddle up Woody instead. Oh. What's with all the melodrama, you two? We're going to have fun whether you like it or not. All we have to do is put our heads together this little problem. There has to be a carriage in the forest somewhere. And I know just what to do. I think I have all the parts in my workshop. Oh, there's no need to thank me. Just doing my job. I'm ready to roll, boys. What do you say? Yep, it's Archibald and Associates at your service. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, why don't we go and help Archibald? What do you say, Ferdy? Well, yeah, yeah, why don't you go ahead, Ferdy? You know it'll be loads of fun. I'll stay and make sure his greediness doesn't make a run for it. <laughs> yeah. It's tranquil in the forest once again, at least for the time being. It seems likely Laura will finally get her carriage ride, but likely is, as likely does. <laughs> Let's not put the cart before the horse. Yoda! Lovely! Yay! It's the finest vehicle in the forest. I've changed my mind. I'm not pulling that thing. <laughs> Just a little closer. <laughs> okay, I'll go for a test drive. See you when I get back. Yeah. Hey, wait for me. <laughs> Hey, pal, I think it's time we found out what this baby can do, don't you? Yep. Yeah! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, hey! Laura, now that I finally fulfilled my promise, are you ready to go for a ride yet? Oh? I don't know that a girl like me has to take her time to make up her mind. Well, while you're making up your mind, I think I'll take Aussie for another spin around the forest, and maybe when I come back around, you'll be ready to go. Just remember, it's a woman's prerogative to change her mind. Don't take too long deciding, because Aussie here isn't exactly in racing form, and by the time you decide, he could be all tuckered out. I'd just like to weigh all the pros and cons before I make a decision. Have it your way. I'll see you at the races. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Laura, it's so exciting. The wind on your face, the pounding of hoofs, it's a rush. Ready, Ed? Well, if you insist. <laughs> I do indeed. <laughs> Get lost, Sniff. A chaperone is the last thing I need. I'll beg Bob, but a reputation is a terrible thing to waste. Suit yourself. <laughs> I, for one, am glad that woman finally made up her mind. Huh? Yeah. Carriage travel right huh? from the beginning. Yep. <laughs> Why didn't you talk me into this sooner? Gee, wasn't that what I was doing? I hope you like it. The boys put a lot of work into it. I put in a lot of love. I think it's just wonderful. I know you, and you're dying to try this. So why don't we pull over and I'll hand over the reins? Oh, perfect! Here you go. You should take it slow first time around. Remember, Aussie's not just a horse, he's my friend. Yeah. <laughs> oh! No! Hey, lighten up, lady! <laughs> Huh? 
I don't Ooh. believe it. She must be late for a very important date. It's either that or she needs to get her nails done. Well, I think she's just whack. I'm so upset. I can't even compare this to a good movie. Mm. Moro, Moro! Oh, wait for me! It makes me cry when you cry. I don't want to cry. <laughs> Wait, whoa! Ah, the fickle fingers of fate have not been kind to poor Ferdy today. He finally came close to winning Laura's heart only to lose her. But cheer up, things are not always what they appear to be. So be sure to tune in our next exciting episode of Ferdy the End. <laughs>